All right, folks, we've been doing these awesome videos, giving you folks insight uh, from some folks in engineering who are building the product, getting to hear like what the things that they were thinking about are, how the product got to where it is. We, we saw some stuff with inks, with the shell. Today, I want to introduce to you Catherine. She's going to share some really cool stuff with us. Hello, Catherine. Thank you for being here. Hi, Brian. How are you? I'm nice doing, to meet you. I'm doing great. So tell the folks what you do. So my team owns the flighting, the feedback, and the self-host pushed across Windows. That's important. Yeah, so uh, we make sure that flights get out to our self-hosters, and we also flight out to our Windows Insiders program. I'm sure everybody has experienced this. Not only is like, are we personally like accountable to answer questions about stuff, but we also see them at the complaint desk, you know, sometimes or even the help desk. Uh, so it's good to play that role proactively, right? Yeah, well, I actually am help desk to my parents, and my parents do live in New Zealand, so I can't nip down the road and have a cup of tea or maybe a meal cooked by them in return for helping on their computer. <laughs> so I uh, spend a lot of time on the phone with my parents, helping them with this or that. I think we've all. Uh, yep. And it can take a long time. I'm in the middle of a help desk scenario with my uh, father right now. We had an hour and a half on the phone last night trying to debug a couple of things for him and I'm going to have another hour and a half tonight all booked in to have a wee chat with my dad. And you you mentioned to me in passing that like we're actually building an experience that's going to help with this right? Yeah well the thing that I was thinking about last night as I was helping him and he is on Windows 10 I'm mm -hmm. happy to uh, to report and uh, I really just felt like as we were going through the situation last night where I was trying to figure out what he was doing, I was actually getting him to take photos of his PC and then showing the photos to me on Skype uh. so I could see what he was looking at. I just wanted to reach through his PC and yeah. through the internet and to kind of move things around for him. And what was he trying to do? All he was trying to do is a simple Word document. They have replaced all the fencing on the farm. Mm -hmm. He wanted to show photos of the old fencing and then photos of the new fencing because he was going to go and do some sort of farm report with a, a group of other farmers. Uh, just so we can really show off how cool the feature is, let's show the, the world what it looks today, just to remind them, because people have gone through this. So here I am on my PC. Now imagine I called you, Catherine, and I'm trying to put a word, a picture of my Word doc, and I'm just starting from here. Uh, this, is, this is how this plays out on the phone today. Like, yeah, okay, okay. so um, what do you see now? Uh, a blue, I see a, a Windows icon and uh, the desk. Okay, so uh, we want to launch Word. So what you do is you click on the Windows icon. Okay, I'm, cl I'm clicking on it. Okay, what's happening? Nothing. It's so just, what, what does the Windows icon look like? Where is it? It's, uh, it's like a big, giant blue one with light. Oh, uh, okay. I should uh, have mentioned to you. Sorry, that's totally my fault. Okay. Um, go to the bottom left bottom of your screen. Left. Okay. And you see like four boxes that kind of. Oh, yep, like, yep. Okay, click that thing. It just pops up and goes away. Okay, just click it once. Oh, quickly. okay. All right. Click it. Yep, okay. that's it. Now, can you see Word, the Word program? Hold on, let me look. Okay, it, it. Uh, no. Okay, can you scroll down on the app list and find the Word program or do you see it? Anywhere? Um. How do I, it just moves okay. the tiles when I try to oh, scroll. Okay. Um, uh, don't move the tiles around because I actually okay. set those up for you last oh, time. Okay, okay. okay. I, I put it back. All right. Thanks. So can you just um, scroll down? You see yeah, the little scroll bar. No. And I think this people people have done this. We haven't even got to launch Word yet. And by now, it doesn't matter how much you love your family. You're like, I don't care. I don't care what you want to do. It's impossible. You know, and, but it's cool to know that, you know, we have ways to kind of address this now. And uh, what, what's this What's this new experience called? Okay, so this new experience is called Quick Assist. And okay. it's, it's essentially exactly what I just described. You can use this program to basically reach through the internet and help control what your parents or your friends or your family are doing. So um, the way you launch it is it's called Quick Assist. So of course, um, I will launch it on my side. Okay. And uh, if you were my dad, I'd be saying, hey, listen, yep. can you please launch it. Quick Assist? So what you do, you see that Windows icon. Uh-huh. Now just to the right of that, there's some, there's a little circle and it says, ask me Okay, anything. yep. So click on that and type in Quick, quick. Assist two oh, words. Oh, it popped right up on the top. That's right. Now open that. Okay. Now uh, you want to say get help. I'm going to, I need help. Yep, so get, get help. There what's a code? What code do I use? Uh, a All code right. you type in there is nine nine. Nine nine one seven one seven zero two zero two, and then submit. Yep, submit. All right. What do you see now? Is the little dots are in a circle? Yep, it'll just. Did be... I do it wrong? No, I think okay. that's okay. Okay. So it will be connecting. It's just establishing a connection over the internet. Okay, I'll allow it. Yep, definitely okay. allow it. All right. It's and because I'm in the US and you're in New Zealand, we're just going to wait. Oh, for it. it went away, and it's uh, it, well, it says quick well, assist at the top. So we well, in, the mouse is so moving. What you see is you see the mouse moving. Wow! I'm actually moving the mouse from my PC. Okay. okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through setting up Word. Okay. So as I said, 
Um, right down here, there's the Windows button. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I, oh, wow, so you're drawing down. I'm drawing. So click on oh, the Windows that's, button. I couldn't, I had to be pressing the big one before. Okay. So now remember I was saying scroll. Mm -hmm. You can see just in here, there's a little scroll bar there. Oh. So scroll that all the way down until you see Word. And this okay. is one way that you can find Word or any application in your list. That's, oh, there it is. Uh, Word 2016 yep, or so, mobile. So Word 2016 is fine. Just open up that for now. Oh, wow. Okay. And because we've already discussed the fact you want to do a new document, I suggest right now that we uh, start a new blank document. And so what I'm doing is I'm showing you how to get that going and not trying to do the really confusing thing of trying to explain step by step and getting you more frustrated and confused. That is so cool and it was so much faster and to your point you've taught me now so maybe maybe number one that person that you're helping will feel empowered that's going to put them in a great mood but number two maybe you won't have to spend so much time on that same thing later on. This is really awesome. Um, man I can't wait to use this with my friends my family and all those folks. Oh me too. Uh, so, so Catherine thank you so much.